Adventure Kid Sam. What are you doing today? I'm just reading about the Monarch Caterpillar book. And I'm trying to spread while I'm doing it because I just came out of my chrysalis. <laughs> um, Monarch Caterpillars are really cool and Monarch Butterflies are cool too. But want to take a peek at my wings real quick? Whoa, that's awesome. Um, you know, books are really awesome, but I'd rather go out and find some real ones. Oh, well, sounds like we're going to have to go out for an adventure. I'm ready. Let's fly. Hi, we're the Nature Nerds. My name is Carly, and this is Adventure Kid Sam. Hi, I'm Adventure Kid Sam. This show is all about nature and getting outside. And today's episode just so happens to be about monarchs and milkweed. Well, monarchs are my favorite butterfly. So how about we learn about them more? That's right. And today's episode is all about monarchs and their host plant, milkweed. So we want to teach you about one of our favorite little critters around here. But Adventure Kid Sam, that means we've got to go on a flying adventure. That's right. So let's get going, guys. We'll see you out there. Yeah, let's go. Let's go learn about my favorite butterfly. Woo! Let's go. You can find milkweed along the roads, the sides of the roads, meadows, gardens, fields. And um, the two that are common around here are swamp and common milkweed. Um, the common milkweed are is a great food source for um, butterflies, moths, bees, and other pollinators. Um, it's the host plant for monarchs. Host plant means that it's the only plant that the monarch butterflies will lay their eggs on. The females and the caterpillars will only eat milkweed. Isn't that cool? Nerds, this is a common milkweed. You want to take a look? Pretty tall, right? So, these are common. And monarchs only lay their eggs on milkweed. So, if you find a patch of milkweed, start looking. And you need to be really patient because they're really, really hard to find. They're teeny tiny. And as you see, I got this magnifying glass to help me. Thank you, Mrs. Hoy, for giving this to me. So, monarch's eggs are laid on the bottom of leaves. And they look like little slip balls with light colored yellow. So, they're really tiny, as I mentioned before. So, if you find one, Wait till it grows up and then you can have it. So, I'm gonna start looking. You wanna help me? Do you see any monarchs here? Little eggs? I don't either. Do you see any monarch eggs here? I don't either. Now let's check right under here. Oh, I found one. Isn't it cute? Well, I can't believe this little egg's gonna turn into a beautiful butterfly like I am. <laughs> Look at all this milkweed. It's taller than me. Isn't that crazy? I didn't know milkweed got so tall. Let me tell you the life cycle of a monarch butterfly. So first, the, um, the female butterfly lays its egg on the plant, right? Then it emerges out of its egg into a little teeny tiny little caterpillar and then keeps eating the leaf and eating and eating and eating and eating and then it turns into a big caterpillar and once it turns into a big caterpillar um it turns into a chrysalis and then it emerges out as a beautiful butterfly and this process is called metamorphosis I love butterflies! Oh, 
Oh, and look at this little baby that I found. Isn't he so cute? Little baby, younger caterpillars have black and yellow stripes down them. It's really hard to tell because of how little they are. Aren't they cute? When I'm looking for big caterpillars, I'm looking for evidence. Cheat up leaf is one, and um, caterpillar poop is two, which is called frass. And you see, this is all chewed up. Well, I found a monarch caterpillar that's in its fifth stage, which is called an instar. Now you can actually see the colors. Isn't it cool? And they can't hurt you, and they can't pinch you or bite you or any way. They're just harmless, cool caterpillars. I love caterpillars and monarchs. Metamorphosis. It's in there to about 10 to 14 days. It will come out as a butterfly, turn, turn, um, turn around on it on the place that it had its crystals and dry its wing off, dry its wings off, then fly all the way to Mexico. Hey, nature nerds! This is a monarch butterfly. They're beautiful, aren't they? Um, monarchs are a native butterfly, and um, they emerge out of their chrysalis, which means come out of their chrysalis, and then they migrate to a different place, um, and that means like go to a different place, and they're migrating all the way to Mexico. Man, I would not like to walk that far. Um, but. Um, they're really cute and they're really common, but um, monarch populations are going down because of habitat loss. Um, so you can take action and plant milkweed in your garden. So you, and they also have a really pretty flower and that will help the monarch survive. Oh, and also this, whenever you're, um, done with something, make sure you let it go. Bye girl, fly away. Have a safe trip. We all have a nature nerd inside us. Inside of us. All you have to do to begin is get outside and learn about nature. We really hope you enjoyed today's episode about monarchs and milkweed. We also hope that it inspired you to go outside on your own adventure and maybe even find some of your own. And because it's the last scene, we thought it would be fun to end with a review of the monarch life cycle. Take it away, Adventure Kid Sam. First, the mom butterfly lays the egg. Ah, a little egg. And then the egg hatches. And we have a beautiful monarch caterpillar. Ooh, what's it eating? Milkweed. Yeah, it's going to eat a lot of milkweed. There you go. Then it goes into its chrysalis. Ah! The chrysalis is hanging. <laughs> We have a chrysalis. It's like a sleeping bag. Oh, it's beautiful. And then it's out comes a gorgeous monarch butterfly. And it's going to fly all the way to Mexico. That's right. Bye, guys. Have a good one. Bye-bye.